Welcome to Saturday Morning Makes and a flip through of my completed recipe book. Saturday Morning Makes is an open collab hosted by Jill Norwood. And if you search Satmorn Makes, you will find lots of creative inspiration. I'm Emily and you've found Emily's Paper Caper where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting pages done. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon now. So I started this recipe book with recipes of my husband's grandmother. I believe she wrote most of them in the 20s and 30s because the book had her maiden name in it. I shared some of the completed pages in a previous Saturday Morning Makes, but I've completed the album, and so I want to flip through and show you how it turned out. I moved some pages around because I wanted the picture of Louise in her kitchen towards the very front of the book. So that's a new page. You've seen these pages before. So I'll quickly get to new pages. Peanut butter cookies, and I used a little cutout ad of Bits of Nut Peanut Butter. That's from a collage book that I can link down in the description. Very few of these recipes actually called for vanilla, but these two did, so I put this vanilla embellishment here. And since this one called for, this is Cocoa Drop Cookies, I put the cocoa label here. This is a recipe that was from the collage book. This is what the book looks like, and I'll link to it down in the description if you want to check it out. It's not an affiliate link, just if you're interested. For fruit pudding, I found uh, something that had some fruit on it. All of this came from the collage book. Her recipe for sponge cake, devil's food and red devil's food. Boston cream pie, marshmallows, cornbread, Victoria salad, Astoria salad, sorry. This salad has apples in it, and so I found some picture in the book of apples. This is my favorite recipe, strawberry surprise salad. I used a little border strip with strawberries on it. If you do a screenshot and read this later, I think you'll be entertained by this recipe. Maple nut cake, June bride cake, and hickory nut cake, spice cake, brownstone chocolate cake. Most of these recipes were for desserts, obviously, but some of them we're not, we'll get to those. Baking powder biscuits. Here are some dinner recipes. Baked slice of ham, Spanish ham. The beet relish recipe is interesting because it looks like it takes quite a bit of ingredients and then uh, you need to put it into bottles and seal. Meatloaf, creamed hamburger, Peanut bars. Date bars. A candy loaf. I found this interesting. This sure makes a very good candy. I'm sure it does, but I'm not sure that I'm ready to do this recipe yet. <laughs> Although maybe someday I'll try it. Donuts. So I found a cutout of a plate of donuts. Canning pumpkin and coconut candy. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the book that I put together with my husband's grandmother's recipes. I had a lot of fun and we are enjoying just paging through this book and reading some of the recipes and how much things have changed over the years. It is a nice recording and a way to access those recipes without having to disturb the originals, which are now 
housed in a archival box because they were in such poor condition. Keep on scrapping and don't forget to check out the hashtag Satmorn Makes to get lots of crafty inspiration.